Welcome to the Key Mind Quick Startup Guide to Qual. To begin, the Qual tools can be found in the left hand side menu underneath the collocated drop down. You will find that you have various different options. To create a new Qual group, click on Create. This will open up a six step guide to building your online call group. Within this tool, you have the ability to create online forums, bulletin boards, online text based focus groups, text based live chats, online journals, all with video and image upload capability. To build a core group, simply follow the guide, filling in all the different areas that are requested. Whilst creating your core group, you will be asked to assign a name, as well as assign a welcome message or an instructions orientated message on screen. You will find a series of templates such as the one on screen at this very moment, which you can edit, delete, and add images and video to as well. Simply follow the different steps one by one until you reach step three, which is the task type library. As the next stage of step two loads up, we can see we are now in the create project stage. When you create a project, you are creating the actual area where all activities and or tasks will be stored within your online core group. Usually you would assign a name to this area. This can be anything to suit your specific needs. In this case, we will use the word, the word task area. As before, you have an option to add an image, which will appear to your respondents, which you can upload into your account area. You also have a text template, which is a series of instructions for your qual participants which you can edit, add images and video as well. When ready, click Save and Next. And this will take us into the task library. In this library, there are over 30 different types of tasks, which you can set your qual participants to take part in and then have discussions around. You will find every available question type, task type within this library with an explanation as to what it does. Select the task type, click add task and follow the instructions on screen. Naming each task will depend on the type of study you are running. Clear instructions will indicate what needs to be entered or uploaded where. Within each task type, you will find three tabs. First is rules. These are different options which will control the way your qual activity task will behave, all signposted as to what they do. And you will have a series of options which will allow you to sequence the way tasks and activities appear in your core group. You have the ability to always show all tasks to core participants or use display dates by clicking use display dates and selecting the day and time a task shows and the day and time a task may disappear or alternatively when your core group will end. 
The next tab is comments. Again, this will control the behavior of your qual activity. So different qual activities can behave in different ways. An example, one qual activity might be group discussion where all participants can see each other's comments and comment on each. Or a further discussion might be a private one-to-one -one discussion between you, the moderator, and the participant. And a further option, show to segments, this will allow you to show different activities to specific segments within your qual participants taking part. For further information on how to use some of these tools, please consult the support with me. When you're ready with your task, save and next needs to be clicked and it will bring you back around with an option to add another task. Simply click add another task and select the next task type you want to use. In this case, we will select a file upload option, <clears throat> fill in the requested information on screen, such as the name of the activity and the instructions that you will be providing your core participants for this particular question type, in this case, a file upload. Save and next. This will return us into the task adding library. Before continuing and creating your email invitations for your call participants and going live with the study, we recommend that you preview your call group by clicking on preview my project. This will open up your call group, allowing you to see how it will look and feel to call participants before going live. If you wish to return and edit any tasks you've created, you can click in the menu and return to an earlier stage and then click edit against the task you wish to make changes to. When you are ready and happy with your call group, you can click I'm done adding tasks, which will move us on to the following stage five of preview invitation email. This is the message that will be sent when you invite your core participants into the core group. You will find a series of information which will be templated, which you can edit by clicking on the left and removing or adding text. And on the right, a preview of what that email invitation will look like. When happy with your email invitation, you have options to check the spam score by clicking this button here, testing, which will send you a real life test email invitation, allowing you to see how it will look to your qual participant, as well as a link to go into the qual group, allowing you to test the qual group environment as well. When you are happy with your testing and ready to go live with your qual group, click save and next. And this will give you several options as to how to add core participants. One option is loading a CSV file with the information for your in invitees. Click here to see an example template of the information needed. You have a further option to copy and paste in emails of those core participants you wish to invite. And use existing sample. This option is available only to those hosting a panel or Insight community on the QMind platform. Just as you would target your email invitations to your panel or community, you have the option to create a new sample and do the same via the Qual Invitations tool. When ready, and you have added in your participants, 
click upload and send invitations. You will find that your invitations have been sent with a confirmation below at the bottom of your screen. This now means that your group has gone live and participants have been invited. You will see that you will be brought to your core group area where you have your core group listed on screen with further options. These include adding moderators, adding observers. By clicking and filling in the information, you can fulfill these requirements. You have an ability to send messages to participants to remind them to log in, to remind different groups of participants or individuals. You can return and edit any element of your core group by clicking Edit Group. Upload or select further participants by clicking Upload or select Participants. You can access this area by clicking on Groups from the shortcut menu. To view your core group so that you can moderate, click on the magnifying glass under Core Groups and click as Moderator. This will open up the online core group from the front end, allowing you to moderate and respond to comments. Reporting on a core group is straightforward. You can click reports, select your core group and select from the following options, export, which will allow you to download raw data of all responses in your core group or formatted content, which is a formatted, visually pleasing version of your core group with all comments, images, videos, which may have been uploaded and probing comments by moderators. This is a more client friendly format. It will allow you to view this in a HTML in your web browser, which you can then save as a PDF using your web browser for easy sharing. You have the ability to view word clouds, the ability to use our AI tone analyzer, and the ability to view any quant-based tasks you have set in your core group using a top line. For further information around moderating your core group, please view the quick start guide to moderating your